MMB air gun review. Um, little unorthodox video today, but for any of you that are interested in a mountain bike, if you get back in the woods and you got your PCP air rifle with you and you want something quiet to get back in the woods to do, do a little small game hunting, um, I might have something right up your alley. And that is a uh, pretty inexpensive for what you're getting mountain bike, but let's check it out and let's see the quality of it. Um, and let's see if it, uh, is up to standards or not, stay tuned, and I will be right back with a quick unboxing. Okay, so what I'm going to tell you is that the bike, aesthetically out of the box, looks really, really good. Um, they really didn't skimp on a lot of things. It's like a matte red finish that looks great. It's got fantastic welds. As you can see, it's a full suspension bike. It's got a nice beefy front fork. Um, this labeled Voxa 32. It does have a quick release front wheel. Um, they have changed some components on these, so I want to keep you... They have went to a Sunrace M40, and I'm familiar with these, the M40 um, rear derailleur, which really, they do shift good. Um, so that has been changed. It looks like it has a nice, decent, comfortable saddle. Um, it does have a longer zoom stem. Now this is an inch and an eighth um, with a 38 point... Uh, the 31.8 um, handlebar or 31.8 handlebar. I'm going to put some different bars on it because I like a, a longer bar. Um, here is our battery and we have a front headlight. So we're going to get all this hooked up. It also has a tail light, dual disc brakes. So we'll dive into this further when it's done. But so far, initial impressions out of the box. The bike looks really good. There's no damage anywhere so far. Um, Kenda Havoc tires, um, big, nice, beefy, uh, bigger than they look online for sure. Looks to be like a nice mountain bike. I'm kind of digging the geometry. Um, I think this is going to be a great candidate for some, some higher end upgrades. Um, so, and to me, the, this, this is a Zoom fork, by the way, so it's Zoom branded. I'm looking for a bike that was inexpensive out of the box. And for those of you who don't know, these do have a tapered fork. So that's also a very big bonus, a tapered fork. The stem on this is, is uh, 90 millimeters, by the way, and it's a, it's a uh, plus 15 um, degree. So pretty beefy bike, looks good. Um, they did use a pro wheel um, front chain ring with a guide on it and I see our sensors on it. Um, your controllers in the back, looks nice. Everything, the battery's very slim. USB port on top. Um, 
looks good. Looks like they went with, I can't tell yet if that is a Shimano or if I believe that's a Sunrace rear uh, freewheel. Not sure, we'll get into it. It's only a 350 watt bike, but uh, they assured me that it behaves more like a 500 watt bike. So we're gonna check that out and I'll speed up this process again and uh, stick around, keep watching. Okay, so I just, <coughs> my first hiccup, or problem I should say, is I just unwrapped the headlight and the actual mount for the headlight that mounts here is actually broken. Um, probably something I can fix. I'm sure I can as a matter of fact, so I'm not gonna, as long as it works when I plug it in, I'm not gonna bother the company for it. Uh, so this was just kind of, the way it was shipped, banged around, but definitely not a deal breaker. Um, so that just simply mounts here. I have some uh, two-part epoxy. You'll never know it was broken and we'll get that on there. But I gotta keep it real and keep it honest. That's the only problem so far that I see. And of course, as I go here, I'll get everything tuned up and let you know how it rides. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so I'm uh, just reading in the manual here. I wanted to to uh, a nice a nice battery. I mean, it's aesthetically very pleasing. Um, my light's blue on here, and I believe that that is a full charge in the blue. It says in the manual green, but it's beyond the green is blue, and it's definitely not red. So I'm going to put it in there and see if we got any juice, and see what happens. So this is the test to see if the bike is powered up make sure it works and there's a little handle here we flip it out and I believe let's see 
make sure I'm doing this right here. I think I have to pull this. Yes. Make sure that this locks in nice. There we go. Got to use your key. And that is locked in. Um, I don't know. This is a... This looks like a different computer than what they showed online. But I'm going to turn that on. Do we have any juice to the controller? That is the question, right? So, got no, ju got no juice to the back wheel. I have nothing going to the controller. Unless it's just blue and it's not charged. That's the only thing I can think. There's a power button under here, maybe. There we go. We just lit up. Right button turns it on. It is in kilometers an hour, so we're going to try to change that. And we have power. Very nice. Power and brakes work. Okay, so right button over here. Is the power? Let's see what this. It must be power assist. Max forty kilometers an hour. Kilometers. Timer. And it does have a full charge in it. And we are on. Let's check this out here. So our assist modes are here. We're about five levels of assist. Oh, that's a lot. That's, yeah, that's a lot, uh, a lot better. Okay. There we go there. And let's see if I can shut this off. And the bike should be powered down. There we go. Power works. Everything's spinning nice. That's a quiet rear hub. Very quiet. I don't think all I heard was really the spinning of the wheel. Very quiet. I'm going to give a quick spoke check. And uh, make sure... Everything is uh, up to par. It's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. So I'll go through and I'll, I'll check all the tension individually. The tires are aired up pretty decent for a fat tire bike. So you can go higher, you can go lower, depending on your terrain. This is going to be a fun bike. But what I want to do is I want to check this light and make sure it works. Let's get this on. So this was a around a twelve thirteen hundred dollar bike. Is it worth that in the world of e-bikes? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, the quality looks really good, really good. So let's see what we got here. I'm going to turn this back on, and let's see if we got a headlight mode. So I don't know which one that is. We hold one maybe. There we go. We hold the top plus button for headlight. Nice and bright LED. We can shut it off if we hold it again. Yes, that shuts it off. And computer over to the right. Shuts everything off. So, pretty cool. I'm going to get this hooked up. Next, what I'm going to do, and you guys are welcome to tag along. Um, I'm going to change these bars out to some wider bars, but I wanted to get this together to make sure that it was going to fit. So, let's go over some... Uh, I don't know what they're using for brakes. These are branded. These are hydraulic brake, by the way. I don't know what they are. They look like Tetros. They're really good quality, really nice levers. And I will tell you that they're using the M30 um, selector trigger shifter, which is really good and pretty much bulletproof. Um, very happy with the components on this. I'm actually super happy with the components on this. Um, it's a nice looking bike. Probably going to do a pedal upgrade, seat upgrade, um, do some carbon on it. We're going to do a carbon, probably a carbon dropper post and a lighter saddle. Um, as far as forks go, we'll see how these function. Later on, we might do some rock shocks depending on the uh, rideability of this bike. But uh, out of the box, it looks great. It looks like a great bike. It's got a really nice 
build quality to it for you know twelve thirteen hundred bucks you can't you can't beat it it's uh it looks good you i'm impressed i'm impressed i'm a bike guy this is my first e-bike but i'm a bike guy so i pretty much know the components no they're not top shelf components but if you want top shelf components you're paying you know 35 four grand so big difference but for what you're getting this is pretty nice and as far as tuning up wise you know i do this stuff in my sleep so not a big deal like i said i bike anyhow um but i'm impressed out of the box i love the red i'm glad i went with a red i was kind of iffy on that either red or silver i didn't see a red out there so i went with a red stick around you'll see me do a handlebar swap real quick
Okay, here we are. Now, in real life, you can't tell, but this bike is massive. It is a big bike, definitely a large size frame. Um, we're gonna get, get you a look. Sunrace, a little dust on it, hasn't been cleaned up. And it is an M40. And that is a Sunrace freewheel, not a cassette. And there is a look at our 350 watt hub. There is our Kenda Havocs. And as you can see, they're labeled moped. So these are a pretty tough tire. They are directionals. And there's your size. Okay, 27.5 by 3.0. And we're gonna carry on. You can see the quality of the welds on this bike, really good. Really nice pivot point. They There is our rear suspension shock. And it is an air shock which is very good for this price point. There is our battery. Again, very good welds. I have not pulled this out yet, so let's do that. And test our rear light. I believe that this is a, this comes on with a button. I could be wrong, we'll test that out in a second. It just straps on there. It's got a nice saddle. Um, I'll upgrade the saddle for sure. Stem I just put on, Richie bars. Grips. There is our zoom forks. Lots of forks. Zoom. And it does have preload adjustment. And on each side, so pretty decent for the money. There's where our key goes. Pardon me, guys, I had to do this in the house today for a simple reason it is pouring out. UPS was late delivering this. I was expecting this the other day. And it sit in one of their hubs for two days. It does have quick release. Which is cool. There's our controller on the back. Very, very nice looking bike. Internal cables, as you can see. Getting a lot for the money. A lot for the money. It does have a rear kickstand. And there's our 180 rear rotor um what is the front let's see if we can bear with me here we'll get to the front and a 180 in the front also so we have 180 and 180 very nice i'm pretty impressed very impressed so let's take this off and under here that's where you turn it on or do I have it backwards? I actually stuck it on backwards. I am going to have to uh, pull that off and put it on the correct way. My bad, people, but there you go. There's a, there's the on. And you just hold it again, turn it off. One turns on the headlight, but you get the idea. Silly mistake, put it on upside down. <laughs> but very nice mountain bike. I can't wait to ride it and make sure everything is in alignment. And I have a feeling it's gonna be. So there you go. Um, what do you think guys? Uh, get up in the backwoods with this. I think it's a great idea. I think it's a fantastic idea. Let's see here. Let's see here. Awesome bike. Company is Unero. And uh, very cool. Very cool. I'll leave a link in the description below and you can check them out. Before I go, quick update. The button is on top. It's integrated. You cannot see it. There we go. Solid. Flashing. Two modes, I guess. Solid. And flashing. So there you go. Simple. Easy peasy. Okay, guys. Hit that like button, share, subscribe, and I will be back soon with a ride update and stay more. Um, stay tuned for more. Um, PCP got me off track today. PCP reviews. Bye. All right, here we go. Unaru electric bike. Has zoom forks. Pretty beefy zoom forks with, with a uh, preload adjustment. Has a rear air shock. This one does come 
with a mile an hour speedometer. You can, can go back and forth from kilo, kilometers to, uh, to miles per hour. Um, these new ones come with Sunrace M40 group set for the shifter. Um, I'm not sure what the brakes are. I had a mishap here. That was me. I got, I have to solder the wires back on there. I tugged on them the wrong way and they pulled out. So I'm going to have to hook that back up. I believe that's your regen. Um, but you still have your regen on one side. That was my fault. Nothing that uh, Unaru did. All, that was just me. Beautiful, beautiful looking bike. And I just took it for a quick spin on the driveway and 350 watts. Um, I'm 220 pounds and this thing moved along really well. It's really hard to describe. Very, very quiet and it did go just under throttle. Took right off rather quickly. So pretty impressed with the power right now. Um, I have changed the grips and did the bars. That's kind of why that happened right there. And I probably see that during the video of my uh, of me unboxing it and putting it together. Great bike. I am really impressed with this. I'm in impressed how quiet it is. I am impressed by the build quality. And uh, as you can see, it's terrible out here raining today. So this isn't where I live. Um, I had it shipped someplace else and put it together here. So I'm stuck with it raining right now. Um, waiting for my bike rack to arrive right now. And uh, we'll get it on the back. We'll get it home and get it up in the trail and see uh, how it performs. What I definitely am going to do is uh, some upgrades to this. Not that it needs them. It's just uh, my personal preference. I think that this frame and geometry is worth upgrading. Um, definitely needs a chain stay protector too for the type of riding that I do. It'll get new pedals, new seat, new seat post, maybe some carbon here and there. But impressed so far. So Unaru, I suggest you guys, if you're looking for an inexpensive mountain bike, electric mountain bike, um, definitely check out this company because it's impressive for what you get for the money. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.